again and welcome to another video. And I've done one since, um, well, near the beginning of last month. Um, but I was going to do some more random, but I know I haven't done one in a while. This time I'm going to do another Doctor Who related video. Because I know the last time I did one for my, um, actually no, two months ago, sorry. Second anniversary video. Uh, this time I'm doing a Doctor Who video. I'm not doing anything about Series 8 yet. I have to wait that until the end of the year, I'm sorry. I'd rather do it the whole year. Now, one thing um, I thought about was doing um, a couple of videos about the revived attempts of Doctor Who. And I kind of had an idea to do this. And I thought, well, do you know something? I'll you know, try it. So, like I said, I'll be going over the, you know, the three main revivals. Which might be confusing to many people because many people only know the only two. We've gone over the cost of the TV movie, the 1996 revival, Scream the Shalker, 2000, the 2003 revival, and of course the, the, the new Who We Are, uh, the 2005 revival. Now, this time we're going to go over the, the Doctor Who TV movie. Now, most of you might think this cover looks a bit different, but I got it through issues I collected um, after weeks and stuff, and this came uh, for free when I, when I got it. Now I said, the TV movie is a bit of an, um, an interesting um, um, revival because originally it was given an idea before Doctor Who was cancelled in 1989 and this was supposed to be an American remake and uh, a new continuity of Doctor Who. So this would have been like the new Doctor Who would have, would have never followed on um, from the old series. Now... As I said, um, the Doctor in this is actually Paul McGann who played the Eighth Doctor. But as I said, Tristan McCoy did return to film a regeneration scene into Paul McGann's Doctor. Um, you also have Daphne, da Daphne Ashbrook who plays Grace Holloway, Doctor Grace Holloway. And um, uh, I can't pronounce, sorry, I can't pronounce the actor that plays Chan Lee. Um, he's also in it as, as well as the, mas the new master played by um, Eric Roberts. Now, as I said, the film on, it, on its own is really, really good. But after like, said, nearly 18 years, it's a bit corny, but it's, it's a really good film. And for several years, this was the only story that the Eighth Doctor only had until last year, The Night of the Doctor. Because it made the Eighth Doctor very, very pointless afterwards. Um, and because that's it, he had no, uh, you know, no series on television, no regeneration scene for several years, and that's what made Paul McGann's Doctor very redundant on television, mainly. Now, so the story is actually set, like I said, in 1999 in San Francisco, um, Millennium, Millennium Eve, 1999, and like I said, the Doctor lands um, on the planet uh, on in Earth. And unfortunately, get shot by a Chinese gang, which I didn't like. Uh, was Tristan McCoy. That one thing I didn't like was Tristan McCoy's doctor. It made his doctor feel um, um, very redundant once he would, was de was classed dead before he fully regenerated into the eighth doctor. Whereas a bunch of doctors, including Grace, operates on him and um, tries to recover him, but unfortunately, he dies. And then it turns out that Grace finds out that the person she operated on was the same person she met hours later. He's just regenerating to a new man. As I said, um, he tries to battle. He tries to defeat the master in, in, in a in a battle before the world ends, and tries to find um, a beryllium clock so that the TARDIS can actually, you know, fly again because all the power sucked through um, from the Eye of Harmony. And then, like I said, uh, Chan Lee ends up um, being manipulated by the master, saying, oh, you know, the Doctor's taken all his lives, even though he hasn't. Um, and the story of it is very, very unusual, um, because, like I said, there are certain aspects in the film that make it really good, and then some of that aren't good. Um, now, so there are lots of moments that Paul McGann does that are really, really good. And I liked him as the Doctor. Um, it's a shame that whatever happened with this, you know, never continued on, which I'll get at the end of this video. Um, <coughs> he is very good when he when he becomes a doctor. Um, he's very 
He's a bit very boyish. So he is. Um, and I liked his, um, I liked his, well, all so, sort of companion greats. Um, I liked, I think she was a good companion. Um, it would have been good to see her in, in more stories. Um, but also I liked Chan Lee, who, who kind of helps the Doctor at the end. Um, it would have been, I think it would have been nice for him to return as well if things changed. Um, and also uh, the end of it as well. I'm not just going through the whole story, but I'm just going through the main plots of this. If you know, if no one's ever seen this, I don't want to spoil anything. And that's over 18 years old. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Now, there were certain part, parts in the story that people don't like, especially the kissing scene with the Doctor and Grace. Because this is the first time the Doctor romantically kisses a woman for the first time. And there was a lot of controversy at the time when this film came out because people didn't think, and people thinking, oh, well, you know, the Doctor shouldn't do that, makes it worse at the end. And that's something I didn't like at the end. A lot of people didn't like it either. And then the Doctor offers Grace uh, to travel with, with him in the TARDIS. But she says, no. Um, I think I would love seeing that. I think it would have been nice for Grace to actually travel with the Doctor. Not just in this one episode, but more stories. Um, and then the Doctor tr f uh, flies back in, goes back into the TARDIS, flies away, fixes his TARDIS, um, and that's it really. Um, I said I was going through the whole my plot of it. Now, I so said the original idea of the story was supposed to be a new continuation, uh, and a new an American Doctor Who series. Unfortunately, it failed. Um, the problem with it was that not a lot of people went to what, um, um, there wasn't a huge fan base of this film. Uh, when it came out first in America, uh, sorry, first in Canada and then in America, um, so they they flopped both. They flopped a lot in both those countries, but in England it did really really well. Um, so then after that, Fox gave back the license to the BBC um, because they weren't interested in, in a Doctor Who, you know, series. And it's just a shame because I would love to see more of this. I think Paul McGann was a good actor. Just a shame no more stars was ever made. And it would have been nice to see a series or something. Now, originally, Paul McGann said he actually wanted to, he signed up for six years. He said if the film picked up, it would have been that. Uh, it would have been the Doctor for six years. And um, I think that would have been an interesting thing. I think, I wonder if it would have been done a bit longer um, for the, you know, for the 40th anniversary, you know, if it got picked up. Um, and all that stuff. Um, but it's nice, it's, it's nice with a good story, it's a bit corny now. And the interesting thing about it was that when the new series came back on in 2005, this wasn't actually seen as ca uh, canon. Um, it took, um, officially, the, the uh, 12 years after the film aired, the BBC, the BBC officially announced Paul McGann as the 8th Doctor. And I was thinking, well, wasn't he the canon Doctor all the time? You know, it makes it a bit silly. Um, but that's how the that's how it was. Um, it's it's very good. Um, and I think if you haven't seen it and you're a huge Doctor Who fan, you should really, really watch it. It's different, but unusual at the same time. But since we had the Night of the Doctor last year, it makes Paul McGann, um, Paul McGann's era of Doctor Who much more impressive and much more longer, even though he only did two episodes on the screen. And it's a shame that we may never ever get a series. I'd love to have a series, but I just don't think it'll ever happen. Um, which is a real shame. Because I like Paul McGann as, as the 8th Doctor. He did it really well. Loved his regeneration last year. Absolutely brilliant. It says. Well, um, thanks for watching my video of, well, a brief um, review of the TV movie. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, watching it because it is a good film. And... Um, I think you really, really, no, not the film, sorry, but the video, sorry. Um, but if you, if you haven't seen it, you've got to see it. It is a good, good film. Well, thanks for watching my video, and uh, catch up the next one, which will be about Scream of the Schalke. Um, thank you. Bye.